you'll need to make a sleeping bag are a large table or flat surface with enough space to comfortably move around it, an additional surface such as a chair, or in this case, a stepladder to assist you, a good pair of scissors. The materials that are needed are two 60 micron plastic bags without gussets that are 1.8 meters by 1 meter in size. The ones you see here are clear recycled plastic bags supplied by Tradecore. A roll of 48 mm wide packing tape. Newspapers that have been spread open to lie flat. You should sort the newspapers into either the narrow tabloid size or the wide broadsheet size and decide which size you'll use for the project. You'll need 200 sheets of newspaper in total. The safety notice. And finally, two elastic bands. Step 1. Arrange the newspaper in piles of 10 sheets each and place them to one side. Continue making up piles of 10 sheets each until you have 20 sets in total. Step 2. Cut short anchor pieces of tape around 40 mm in length and temporarily stick them to an easily accessible surface such as the stepladder. Cut at least 40 pieces to start your bag. Step 3. Lay the first plastic bag on the table with about 100 mm of the open end hanging over the edge of the table, if you have a table with a straight edge. If your table has a rounded edge or you're working on the floor, then fold the top open edge of the bag under. Secure the bag in place on the table by using two pieces of anchoring tape close to the open edge of the bag. Step 4. Start laying out your newspaper. You'll need 10 sets of 10 sheets. Anchor the newspapers with your pieces of anchoring tape on each corner of the newspaper, running down the middle as you progress and not at the sides, top or bottom. You should overlap the sets until you have completely covered the plastic. It's important to leave about 20 millimeters of plastic exposed along each side, but be sure to take the newspaper all the way down to the sealed bottom edge. Step 5. Now tape the newspaper securely to the plastic down the length of the bag, making sure that all the newspaper is taped and that the width of tape extends from the paper onto the bag with about 15 mm extending over the edge of the plastic bag. Now tape the newspaper at the bottom of the bag, making sure that about 20 mm of tape extends over the edge of the plastic bag. Step 6. Lift the bag from the open edge, allowing the tape to gently peel off the table as you lift. Carefully turn the bag over, which is much easier if you can do it with the help of another person. Fold the side edges of the bag and tape them up, right up to the edge of the newspaper. In doing this, you will be reducing the width of the bag on each side by 20 millimeters. Fold the tape over at the bottom of the bag. Step 7. Now layer this side of the bag in exactly the same way with 10 sets of 10 sheets of newspaper, leaving just the smallest edge, approximately 3 to 5 millimeters of the plastic bag exposed. Step 8. With the layers of newspaper in position, tape the edges and bottom making sure that the tape extends over the edge by 20 millimeters. Lift the bag, turn it over and fold the tape over. Step 9. Take your second plastic bag, shake it open and slide it over the first bag making sure that the open ends are on the same side. Again, this is much easier if you have someone to help you. 
you'll now have a plastic bag on both the inside and the outside of the sleeping bag. It's important to make sure that you place the warning insert face up between the newspaper and the outer bag. Step 10. Turn the bag over and swivel the closed end of the bag towards you and start folding the bag up at a width of about 180 millimeters, approximately the width of a widely spread hand, gently expelling the air towards the open end. Turn the bag so the open end is towards you. Step 11. At the open end, separate the top and the bottom layers. Fold the double layers of plastic over to the outside of the sleeping bag. Tape them down to form a sealed edge all around the open end. Step 12. Using the two elastic bands, neatly secure the folded bag in place for easy storage.